The new pitcher on for the Sharks in the bottom of the sixth is Tristan Moore, heading to Broward Community College. In two outings on Tuesday and Thursday, combined two and two thirds innings pitched, two Ks, allowed one hit, has walked one, and given up no earned runs. He relieves Brandon Ross here in the bottom of the sixth with two away. The pitch to Pasqualato, that misses low, the count 1-0. Oh. And thank you. <laughs> A new record, 75. The 1-0 -oh pitch, paints the inside corner, the count even 1-1. One one. More the 1-1 one -one pitch. Pasqualato swings, fouls it back, the count 1-2. He delivers. Pasqualato takes, that one just misses inside, the count even 2-2. Two and two. Bingham at third, two away. More of the 2-2 pitch. Pascalato swings a high chopper. Picked up by Connor Culp, throws it over to first. Did not get him in time as the first run comes in to score for the Jets after that infield single from Paul Sean Pascalato. The score is 2-1. to one. That gives way to a Darian Williams. More delivers. Williams takes. That misses in the dirt. The count one now. A guy that can flat out hit the ball. Adarian Williams ropes that one into left, his second hit of the day, as Pasqualato advances to second. And the Jets threatening here in the bottom of the sixth, two on with two. More the pitch. As that's called strike on the outer half of the plate, the count 0 and 1. Lotto at second, Adarian Williams at first. That pitch misses in the dirt, gets away from Peraza. Both runners advance. More the 1-1 one, one pitch. That misses upstairs, the count 2-1. and one. More the 2-1 pitch. That misses in the dirt. Fowler ahead of the count 3-1. and one. More delivers. Fowler takes. That one's called strike on the inner half of the plate. The count full. Williams at second. Two away the payoff pitch. That misses outside. Vito Fowler heads to first. The bases all loaded up for the Jets. More to face the pinch hitter, Micah Patella Wiggs. He delivers. Patella Wiggs takes. As that one misses inside, the count 1 0. The 1 0 pitch. That's called strike on the inner half of the plate. The count even 1 1. The count even 1 1. The pitch from Moore. Patella Wig swings a one hopper to Jordan Andrade. Good pick over to first. The Jets strand three, but cut the deficit to one. As we head to the top of the seventh, the Sharks lead the Jets on game one of our doubleheader on this 4th of July Saturday, two to one. Pew, pew, pew. This entire game. Yeah. Well, it's still daytime. Yeah. Usually those come at night. <laughs> we do not have night games here in the San Diego League. We'll have their fireworks show. We'll have its fireworks show, excuse me. And one thing I'll never understand about fireworks is... The July the next year, you like looking back on the fireworks of the previous year. When I think there was one <laughs> exploded prior to the fireworks show, or maybe it was during, because there was a hit batsman there, and... I've never heard of that. the whole show. Wow. Well, <laughs> after this next pitch... Moore delivers, swung on, lifted to deep left field as it veers foul. Wow. How about that? That 0-1 pitch misses low, the count 1-1. One and one. At the same time, I don't remember a lot of what happened when I was younger. Tristan Moore ahead of the count. Looks off at first, delivers to Smith. She takes, that one misses upstairs. The count even 2-2. Two and two. Right, it probably could be worth your time. As that one is drilled to deep left center, the uh, catch is made by Nico Diaz, moving back, ranging to his right. There's one away. As Sam Dinnerman steps up to the plate with one away in the bottom of the seventh, one on. Dinnerman swinging a miss. The count 0-1. Hunter Hughes made an exceptional diving play. So that miss is high and away. More of the pitch that misses outside, the count two and one. More of the pitch that swung on, lifted as Jordan Andrade moves back, coming in and making the play is Hunter Hughes from right field, two away. More of the pitch, Peraza drops it, 
as that one missed high and away. The 1-0 pitch, that's called strike one on the inner half of the plate. Okay. Two away, the 1-1 pitch. Bingham swings, fouls it back, but count one and two. With two away in the bottom of the seventh, the 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Tristan Moore, a big strikeout to retire Mac Bingham by way of the K. As the Jets strand one, we head to the top of the eighth. The score is two to one, Sharks. More the pitch to Ricketts, that misses low and away, the count one and no. Bottom of the eighth, the Sharks lead the Jets two to one. Here's the 1-0 pitch, Ricketts swings, fouls it back. Moore sets the 1-1 pitch. That misses in the dirt, the count two and one. Scored a run in the bottom of the six to cut the deficit to one, as that one's tip foul from Caleb Ricketts, the count two and two. More the delivery. Ricketts swings on that, fouls it off into the glove of Angelo Praza. A strikeout for Tristan Moore. One Paul Sean Pasqualato is one for three today, swing and a miss. The count 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch, Pasqualato takes that misses low and away. The count even 1 and 1. More the 1 1 pitch, Pasqualato swings, pops that one foul and out of play. The count 1 and 2. A, gooding, a good outing thus far from Tristan Moore. An inning and two thirds pitched, has allowed two hits, but has kept the Sharks in the lead. The pitch to Pasqualato misses upstairs. The count two and two. One away in the bottom of the eighth. More the two two pitch. Pasqualato swing and a miss. Tristan Moore picks up his third strikeout. Three today. A pair of singles and a strikeout. More the pitch. Williams takes. That misses upstairs. The count one and out. The 1 0 pitch misses inside. The count two and out. The pitch from Moore. That misses low and inside. The count 3 and 0. We're in the bottom of the eighth. The Sharks lead the Jets 2 to 1. That's called strike on the inner half of the plate. The count 3 and 1. The 3 1 pitch from Moore. Good spot. Misses low and away. Williams on base for the third time today. It was last Friday. Takes the first pitch, that one misses in the dirt. The count one and out. The pitch to Cromwick, swing and a miss. The count one and one. More the one one delivery. Cromwick swings on that, fouls it into the glove of Angelo Peraza with two away. The one two pitch, Williams goes. That one skied foul from Cromwick. The pitch to Cromwick, that misses outside. The count even two and two. Moore looks off at second. The 2-2 pitch to Cromwell. Swung on and lifted to left as it's going to veer toward the left field line. Land foul. The count stays 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss by Josiah Cromwick. Tristan Moore, his fourth strikeout. The Jets strand one as we head to the top of the ninth. Coming in. Moore the delivery. That misses high and outside. The 1 0 pitch to Patella Wiggs misses outside the count 2 0. The count 2 0 to Patella Wiggs. The pitch from Moore that paints the outside corner, the count 2 1. The pitch, Patella Wiggs floats that one to Connor Culp at short, one away. That brings up TK Parker in the nine hole. One away in the bottom of the ninth. More of the pitch that swung on, lifted to straightaway center. Nico Diaz, a diving play. He made the catch. Nico Diaz, what a play. Diving forward. And now there's two away in the bottom of the ninth. Full extension dive. The pitching has been phenomenal. The defense has been that as well. The Sharks and the Jets pitching staff combining for 19 strikeouts, 18 of them swinging. As Hans Smith takes that. First pitch upstairs, the count 1 and 0. The 1 1 pitch from Moore. That scrapes the outside corner, the count 1 and 2. The count 1 and 2, the pitch to Smith with two away. That swung on. Lifted to Cade Brown at first. He makes the catch, 
And that's all from game one of our 4th of July doubleheader. As the Sharks bite and chew their way to a 3-1 to one win over the Jets, Brandon Ross, a part of that outstanding pitching crew, 11 total strikeouts for Sharks pitchers, picks up the win. As they improve to 5-5, five and five, the Jets drop to 5-6. and six. For our VP of Marketing, Mark Rogoff, I'm Cameron Izaire saying happy 4th of July. And guess what? We still have one more. Game two of our doubleheader coming up at 12.